Hello, hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies but goodies. Familia, let me put some of this on because I'm looking a little, you know. I got my hair done yesterday. What well, you guys saw in the vlog, I just posted my vlog. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And I also posted a full skincare video morning and night. You guys have been wanting to see that. So I'm so happy I got that done because I was putting it off because low key, skincare is a mission sometimes. I'm talking about skincare. We have here the First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide with SPF 30. You guys know I love a good sunscreen. It is always sunny in California, so we need to protect our skin. However, it hasn't been sunny here in months. When I mean months, months. I still do wear my sunscreen, so I have nothing on my face but my brows on. Or let me give you quick info about it. The new First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide SPF 30 retails for $36. This is a luxuriously light and ultra sheer tint that blends seamlessly for a satin finish. This delivers a soft blur effect for the perfect no makeup makeup look, layers well, and doesn't peel under makeup. The key ingredient is Zinc Oxide, a non-sunscreen that helps filter harmful UV rays, mineral pigments that creates a sheer tint and blend seamlessly into the skin and oil absorbing microspheres that absorb surface oils to help visibly reduce shine. I purchased mine at Ulta. Now that we have all the info, let's look at this. Let's look at this. First Aid Beauty, if you're not familiar, they are a skincare brand sold at Sephora and Ulta. This retails for $35, $36. So this is how it looks. It comes in a 1.5 ounce bottle. I always like to shake, shake, shake. Oh yeah, you could hear it. Anytime I'm reviewing any sort of SPF, I always like to apply makeup afterwards to see how it applies. There are some sunscreens that just don't work with makeup. Sometimes they're just a little bit too thick and it, you know, it just doesn't work. Let's look, let's look. What's oh, a nice little tint. You see that? Like a slight tint. And that's another thing. We don't want a sunscreen that gives us that white cast. You know, when you blend it out on your skin, there's like that white. Sometimes it blends out, sometimes it doesn't. And I do find that a lot of drugstore sunscreens do that. Luckily, we got a little bit of color here. So I'm feeling super positive. <laughs> it feels very lightweight. Okay, it's blending in nicely. I typically don't have my brows on when I put my sunscreen on. Is it leaving a tint? No, it's not. Oh, and when it comes to sunscreen too, I do find that make sure to let your moisturizer underneath really dry down a good bit because I've had SPFs that just peel because that first layer is not really dried down. It doesn't happen often, but it's happened enough for me to bring it up. So this feels nice. It feels very moisturizing. Let's give it a minute to dry down. You always want things to dry down before you go in with the next step. Here, let's add a little more. It feels very lightweight, like extremely, extremely lightweight, which is very, I don't know, maybe a little surprising. I was just expecting something different. But look, you see white cast where it's like, my skin. The tint definitely gives us a good color. I think it just really melts into the skin well. Mm -hmm. Let's let it dry down. Wow, this is giving the skin like a nice plump. It dries down onto the skin. Your skin still feels very moisturized. I went to go wash my face, not my face, my hands just to see. And as I was scrubbing with soap, I can still feel that hydration of this sunscreen. So I really like it. It reminds me a lot of the Kosas, but I feel like a little bit better than the Kosas. I felt no peeling. I like this plump look. I like the tone. It's a slight tint, which won't give us like that Y cast, you know? Look, and it dries, yeah. I would say give it some time to dry because it is very, very, very moisturizing. Usually sunscreens are like that. They're never gonna be like super drying or matte. There are some that are a little bit on the matte side, but nothing too drying matte, you know? Look, look at this skin. Damn, I like this. This feels really nice. The ultimate test is how it wears with makeup. So what I'm gonna do is apply my makeup, speed it up, add some music. Let's see, we're gonna do a bit of a wear test. Let's cue some music.
Familia, okay. Ooh, you guys, this purple blush, I wanna love it, but it's just not, mm. I have a feeling it goes well by itself. I think the shade of a bronzer kind of messes with the actual purple shade. That's my initial thought. Everything applied so well, nothing felt heavy. I didn't wear a primer purposely, just so we can see how the skin works without a primer. Typically sunscreens kind of act like a primer. This one in particular is not, let me double read. It's just a sunscreen. It's working very well on the skin with makeup, without makeup. You guys saw how plump the skin looked. I like that it has this dry down time. Your skin looks very hydrated still, you know? So I like that. Makeup's just good like nothing feels weird nothing applied weird sometimes sunscreens could be i don't know if it's like too moisturizing or a little bit too thick your bronzer will patch up a little bit it's happened before it's not a bad thing it's just sometimes sunscreens don't work well under makeup you guys know over here we wear makeup pretty much almost every day. So we need products that work well with makeup and without makeup. Let's go in front of the window so you guys can see how the skin looks. I'm loving this. This is definitely beating out Kosas for me. Although Kosas is SPF 40, this one's SPF 30. Yeah, uh, I like this, I like this. Let's do a quick flashback test just so we know if we have flashback. Sometimes sunscreen can give us that flashback look. If you don't know what that is, anytime you take a picture with flash, it'll give you like this white cast and we don't want that. Oh, wow. Okay, no, definitely. I mean, I didn't think so because this is a tinted SPF, but you never know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and my lip color is Line Loud Ambitious Statement with Praline. Wanted to keep it simple, as simple as, you know. I think simple is. Okay, bye. <laughs> See at the window. Oh, all right, familia. Oh my God, look at the skin in daylight. It's gloomy light, but it's some sort of daylight. Look, look how smooth the skin looks. Oh, we. Okay, and you know, I use products that I know and love and work well, especially when I'm trying something new out, especially like a SPF because SPF can be very finicky. It could peel, it could just lift makeup makeup may not apply well you never know so oh it's like a good makeup day and i wanted to keep it as simple as possible i didn't use any cream products you know just something a little quick oh i like that okay skin's looking really good damn hello familia i'm back i didn't do a midday check-in because everything was looking really good so i'll just do this check-in in front of the window so you guys can see this is how the skin looks my skin's a little bit oily but considering that i don't have primer on i think everything looks really well put together nothing is lifting nothing is separating that's what happens sometimes with sunscreen typically with sunscreen you also do want to reapply but because i wear makeup i reapply different if you're not wearing makeup, I would say reapply every two hours if you go outside. If not, I don't really apply it as much today. I didn't really go outside and it's gloomy. Like we haven't had sun in so long. But this is how the skin looks. I'm really pleasantly surprised how well everything looks considering I don't have primer. And you guys know I have oily skin. I definitely don't look gastada. So I'm kind of liking this whole thing. And I really do like this sunscreen. I definitely do think it beats out the Kosa's. So what I want to do is touch up. This is how I would touch up my sunscreen. If it was like three hours, I would grab a sponge, kind of just dab any oils. You see, usually like oil really good in the nose. And then I will apply an SPF spray. There's this from e.l.f., which I really like. Kula has another one that's really good. This is Kula's right here. It has, it makes the same noise as the one e.l.f. does. So I would just move my hair and spray down. Ooh, I'm not gonna spray a lot because I'm not leaving the house. And this is also a setting spray, so I'm gonna be removing my makeup maybe in a few hours. This is how you would reapply sunscreen if you're going back out or if you're out and about, put this in your purse and reapply it. I will say sunscreen sprays do leave you like this hydrated look. So don't be alarmed. You're like, wait, I just dabbed my face and now I look super glowy. It's because this SPF setting spray does that. 
So this is it fam. I really, really like this SPF. I'm super, super excited for you guys to try it out. If you're looking for a new SPF, something that's super lightweight, glides onto the skin, it doesn't feel heavy, dries down if you give it some time. This is great. First Aid Beauty, they're a good skincare brand. I really like their skincare in general. And yeah, this is it fam. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried this? Have you picked it up? If so, let me know your thoughts. And I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Or there. I still don't know.